to my channel and welcome to episode three of these thoughts um to those of you who may be new these thoughts is a segment that i started a little over two months ago where i share my thoughts and my opinions on various topics where i talk about things that may be on my heart and on my mind that you know i feel like to share with you guys and on today's episode I wanted to talk about something that's been weighing heavily on me for a little while now and that is the whole notion of being patient with yourself. You know, often we set goals for ourselves and we set time frames for when we would like to see those goals accomplished. Um, for example, you may plan to graduate from college by a particular time, um, you may plan on having a job by a particular time or on a deeper level you may be going through a situation or dealing with a situation and you know you tell yourself you know what i'm giving myself three days or three weeks or a week or three months to get over this situation or to be healed so to speak but what happens when things don't go as planned you know what happens when you realize that you're not going to graduate by the time you planned on graduating what happens when you haven't gotten a job by the time you would have expected to get a job what happens when you know the three days or the three months have passed and you are nowhere closer to being healed or you know you're still crying as much you know on the seventh day as much as you did on the first day because of that situation what happens then you know when things don't go as planned you know in the bible in proverbs chapter 16 verse 33 i believe it says we may throw the dice but the lord determines where they fall we make plans we set time frames but ultimately god determines when when whatever is going to happen god determines when you are going to get that job when you are going to graduate, when you are going to fully be healed and so on and so forth. So what happens when it's day four and I'm still crying? What am I going to do then? Am I going to beat myself up or am I going to sit down and give myself a pep talk and say, you know what, Shanfi, be patient with yourself. Yeah, you, you set that particular time frame, but here, the, the date has arrived and you are still in this headspace you are still not over this or you haven't gotten the job for the call as yet be patient with yourself use that time that you know you're not working to prepare yourself for the job um or prepare yourself for the next season you know get closer to god like do things to uplift yourself get your mind right get your spirit right but don't beat yourself up. Be patient with yourself. Like have a pep talk with yourself and tell yourself, you know what? Certain things take time. Especially the whole thing about getting over situations. If you've been hurt and so on and so forth. That is something in particular that I think that you really have to practice being patient with yourself with. Because quite frankly, you kind of put a timeline on healing. You can, you can set, you know, soft goals, like small time frames as to, you know what, by this day, I want to at least be able to smile for half of the day, or I want to be able to get to that point of thinking about the situation and not feeling sad. But don't try to rush the process. You know, in my last episode, I talked about what's the rush in terms of relationships. But what's the rush in terms of healing? What's the rush in terms of accomplishing those goals? Don't get me wrong. Yes, set goals. Yes, set time frames. But if things don't happen when you expected them to happen or when you plan for them to happen, tell yourself it's okay. You know, it's okay. Be patient with yourself. Take time. And understand that everything is not always going to happen the way that you want them to happen everything is not going to happen in a time frame that you want them to happen and that's just life so my encouragement to you today is be patient with yourself don't beat yourself up 
I know some of you may be perfectionists like myself and you know when the milk spills when the milk falls you may want to pick it up and put it back in the bottle but guess what when it falls you cannot pick it up and put it back in the bottle the most you can do is clean it up and go buy another bottle of milk be patient with yourself and just tell yourself you know what it will happen the job will come I will graduate I will get over this situation and that's that life is too short to beat ourselves up over certain things granted some situations may be wearisome some situations that we had to deal with but listen be patient with yourself and just be thankful that you have life be thankful that you're alive and do everything that you can to you know move one step closer in accomplishing that goal and one of those things is understanding that things happen when they're supposed to happen and sometimes they don't happen when we want them to happen and that's okay so that's it for today's episode of these thoughts let me know in the comments down below if you liked this topic if you have any comments on this topic um let me know if there are other topics that you like me to talk about or you like me to share my thoughts on and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel turn on also turn on your post notifications and hit that bell so whenever i upload you will get notified thanks again for watching bye guys